Hi, my name is David Muller. I'm an internist and Dean for Medical Education. My name is Leona Hess. I am the Senior Director of Strategy and Equity Education Programs uh, in Medical Education at Mount Sinai. Hi, my name is Jennifer Diaz. I'm a rising third year medical student here at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. The Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai's commitment to transforming our culture uh, around racism and bias is a project that we started about five years ago um, and have since kind of pivoted so that it is really foundational to the work that we do across every um, functional area or every sphere of the medical school from recruitment and admissions all the way through to graduation and even reaching into the health system and the clinical environment. Um, we have taken a, a full thickness approach to this in very close partnerships with students because students are the ones who started us on this journey. Um, and so we are completely committed to doing it and um, appreciate that it is a lifelong endeavor. I would say that after the murder of George Floyd um, and in the middle of the COVID pandemic, uh, there was a national awakening uh, and that included medical schools across the country. But I think that it was an awakening that came, that has come very, very late in the history of racism in this country. And I also think that it's an awakening that is destined to be short-lived like every other quote, awakening that we've had. Um, it's fleeting. Uh, we probably don't have more than a year or two before it's completely disappeared and we forget all of that trauma, which is hard to believe, but that's probably the way that it will play out. Um, and so we, we are committed to doing this um, for the long run and we want to create a community of practice of schools that will do it with us together because we know that without banding together, this will never be a sustainable effort. So there's really two aims to this project. And I think, um, and David talked a little bit about them, but the first one is really building capacity, right? How can we build capacity of medical schools to dismantle racism um, by using um, tools and processes uh, for transformational change? And then the second one is building that community of practice where we can promote shared learning um, to dismantle racism and support each other and kind of learn what works and what doesn't work in terms of our own environments in utilizing some of these tools and processes. Um, so that's the, the at the core of the program. Since it's a capacity building effort, we're utilizing a virtual platform or a learning management system um, to provide not only kind of framing and context uh, of how to use the tools, but then coaching sessions, um, self-directed learning modules, and, um, and also community of practice. Um, and we're fostering that through the virtual learning platform. With the increased awareness, um, I think that this is a pivotal moment. I think there, you know, schools and institutions across the country are, you know, focusing on the content, like what needs to change. For example, like the curriculum pieces that need to change or uh, some of the emissions processes that need to be changed. Um, and I think that what this program offers, which is very unique, is the opportunity to focus on the process for transformational change and then also the people side of the change about our mindsets and behaviors that need to change in order for us to really address racism. And so I think that this is a pivotal moment and this will provide not only community, but also capacity to do that work. My ultimate goal in pursuing this initiative is to really develop skills, knowledge, and experience that will help me be an anti-racist physician leader in the future. In my role as a co-investigator, I will be developing what the learner's role is in the project. So reflecting on our own process and lessons that we've learned in COVID-19, we see that students really have an integral role, not only in the workforce, but also in promoting change at their institutions. And so part of what I'll be doing is coaching students through the process and engaging them um, in part of their cohorts.